When I think of Jump Rope, I think of either some absurdly shredded boxer, or I think of like a seven-year-old schoolgirl doing double dutch. And that's it. Which raises the question, why aren't more people jumping rope? Just think about it, it's cheaper than cycling, more accessible than the gym, and easier on your body than running. So I want to try it out for myself. Hi, my name is Cam, and every day for the next 30 days, I'm going to jump rope for 30 minutes. My goal is to see how much my body will change and hopefully show how beneficial jump rope can be for an average Joe like myself. Oh. On day one, I weigh in at 151.9 pounds with a body fat percentage of 16.3%. In addition to any physical changes, I also want to test one more thing. Yo, do you think if I skipped with a weighted rope for 30 days that I could beat you in a, in a strength competition? Seriously? Yeah. No. <laughs> That's a stupid question. <laughs> Challenge accepted. For my training, I'm going to be using a series of ropes from Crossrope, who were kind enough to sponsor this video. I'll be using their speed rope as well as their one pound weighted rope, which sounds light, but... Yo, that's weighty, dude. You're going to struggle. <laughs> To get a sense of where I'm at on day one, I do a timed skip with the one pound rope. Oh. Where do you feel it? Here. So much here. Oh. Lasting only one minute with the weighted rope, I decide to change up my approach. Mm -hmm. I opt to start out just using the speed rope to see if I can get closer to my 30 minute workout goal. But even with the speed rope, I can still only go for three minutes straight before I'm exhausted. So with lots of breaks, I make my way through my first 30 minute workout. This is kicking my ass. As I go on, my skipping gets slower and my breaks get longer. And it really feels like this is the longest 30 minutes of my life. The next day, I head out early in hopes of having a better day too. But somehow it actually gets more painful. Whether it's my leg or my finger or my arm, I'm getting whipped by my jump rope every workout and sometimes it's pretty bad. So I got smucked pretty good the other day while I was skipping and uh, <laughs> check out this bruise. All right, for reference, this is my regular finger. And then this is my bruise <laughs> finger. Bro, look at that. This skipping rope is out to kill. What the heck? Feeling the pains of my first week, I really want to focus in on improving my technique to hopefully avoid some bruises in week two. Starting from the feet the whole way to the top, up on your toes, like your heels should never touch the ground. Your knee should be slightly bent. You want to keep your elbows in at your side when you're jumping. Your shoulders should be back, so you should really feel the jump rope engaging like all of your back muscles. And then the last thing would be just eyes um, straight forward. This is Dan from the YouTube channel Jump Rope Dudes, a channel that's amassed over a million subscribers from teaching the benefits of jumping rope. I reached out to Dan with a video of me skipping to see if he could give me some pointers. So your form in, in, immediately is like pretty good. Looks like your right elbow is in the whole way to your body, but your left looks like sticks out a little bit. I would say keep your head up because it should basically be like a straight line from the crown of your head the whole way down to your heels. One last piece of feedback, try to stay in the same spot. Like briefly, you kind of backed up and went forward a little bit. The biggest piece of feedback I would give is to try and create that symmetrical shape. So like one thing that we tell people is jump rope in front of a mirror. That would be my only feedback, but you're definitely on your way, man. That's great. Sweet. Well, I'm glad I'm in the, in the right direction. That's encouraging to hear. You definitely are, bro. You're doing good. While I'm not able to practice with a mirror, I start watching my workouts back to try and hone my technique. Specifically focusing in on keeping my head up to keep good alignment, keeping my elbows tucked in towards my torso, and trying to jump in the same spot. And the more I practice, the more I start to enjoy my workouts and am really able to push myself. It's my first time passing 300 calories in a skipping workout. 
Holy smokes, I'm sweating buckets. <laughs> With every day that I practice, I feel like I get better, and I really start to have some fun with it, except for when I still whip myself with the rope. Oh, and of course with skipping every single day comes recovery, which also isn't very fun. <sighs> Ow! Oh, mother of God! It is day 15, we are halfway through this challenge, and holy smokes have I seen some improvement. First off, when I started this challenge, I was only able to skip for three consecutive minutes with the speed rope. Now I'm skipping five minutes. Second, my footwork has improved so much. I now have a bunch of different steps in my repertoire, and I'm even starting to do some double unders and a few tricks. Hell yeah. I'm also in the works of learning a 360, but uh, Right now, I just kind of look like handsome Squidward. How stupid does that look? Pretty bad. <laughs> so definitely lots of positives. However, on the other side of things, I'm getting a little bit nervous about this final challenge with Brendan. The reason being, I have been so focused on using the speed rope and having so much fun with that, that uh, yeah, I haven't touched a weighted rope for the entire challenge. So in hopes of not embarrassing myself by the end of this, I'm gonna be focusing more in on using the weighted rope over these next two weeks, and hopefully I can see as much improvement with the weighted rope as I have with the speed rope. The next day, I time myself to see if I've made any improvements from where I started with the weighted rope. One twenty. That's not good enough. I gotta get better. The weighted rope is a whole different experience from the speed rope. While the motion is the same, it really tires your forearms and shoulders out quickly, making practicing with it pretty tiring. I don't know if you can see this, but my hand is shaking. My forearms are getting wrecked from these weighted rope workouts. To make things a little easier, I settle in on a workout of 10 minutes of speed rope, followed by 10 minutes of weighted rope, with lots of breaks of course, and then finishing with another 10 minutes of speed rope. And with my workout routine locked and the final week approaching, all that's left to do is finish this challenge strong. We have made it. Today is the final day, and normally I feel nervous doing final tests or challenges, but uh, right now I just kind of feel excited, and I think that's because win or lose with this final competition, this challenge has been a huge success. I've seen improvements in my foot speed and coordination, my cardio, I feel stronger. Honestly, I just feel like jump rope is such a good mix of fun, and good exercise. And if you want to make exercising a lasting habit, one of the best things you can have is an element of fun to it. And I think jump rope is like the perfect vehicle for that. So I guess all that's left in this challenge is to uh, go beat Brendan. Let's get it. The challenge is simple. Who can skip the longest with the weighted rope? The only other element is that if you mess up, your time stops, you have to go do five overhead presses with the dumbbell, then back to skipping. The longest time wins, and Brendan is up first. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Brendan gets off to a really great start, crushing his first minute easily. But by the minute 30 mark, the fatigue starts to set in. I don't like it. I don't like this. And with that fatigue comes mistakes. Five overhead presses later, and Brendan is looking gassed. Okay. Mm. 
that's it. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. With two minutes to beat, now it's my turn. Here we go, let's see how much I've improved. How, what was your day one? I could barely make it to one minute doing this. Three, two, one, go. Just like Brendan, I make it through the first minute pretty painlessly. But things start to turn for the worse after that. Oh. Yeah, my arms, they really feel it. With pain and discomfort setting in, all I can do is focus in and try to make it past two minutes. Let's go. Two minutes. With the satisfaction of knowing I've beat Brendan, from here, I honestly don't really know what comes over me. I get a second wind and keep going, focusing my sights solely on how far I can push myself. Let's friggin' go. My arms, I can't feel them. I just want four minutes, come on now. Yo. Where did that come from? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, my arms are so bad. <laughs> I started out doing this for one minute. One minute. Let's go. That's a wrap. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> On my final weigh-in, I've gone from 151.9 pounds down to 149 pounds with a 0.3% drop in body fat. Most of all, I'm excited to have discovered a new form of exercise that I really love, which I'd say makes this challenge a huge success. Before I go, I do want to say a big thank you to Crossrow for sponsoring today's video. Honestly, I think this is one of my favorite sponsors that we've worked with. Crossrow provides amazing products that are great for providing a versatile and full body workout. One thing that I really like about Crossrope's ropes are that they have interchangeable handles so you can switch from a speed rope to a weighted rope and really maximize your workouts with a versatile, full body effective workout. Another great thing about Crossrope is that anytime you buy a Crossrope, it comes with free access to their app, which is filled with follow along workouts that can get you started with ease. Overall, I just think jump rope is one of the most fun exercises and is such an accessible way for people to get into exercise and have a little bit of fun with it too. So if you wanna check out Crossrope for yourself, you should definitely head to the link down in the description. And yeah, give, give Skipping a try for yourself. I hope you have as much fun with it as I have. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.